and welcome to the news at 10. Thank you for joining us tonight. We continue a story we first told you about on Tuesday. A woman says an older man spray painted her car after she caught him defacing her neighbor's political signs. She called police and he was arrested Wednesday night. Our Morgan Boyson has been following the story from the beginning and brings us the latest updates. Morgan Brian, a Boise woman says she caught 63 year old Stephen Schneider spraying her neighbor's sign around 4 p.m. Wednesday in the area of West Powell Street and North Prescott Avenue. She later learned Paulette Jordan signs in that yard had been targeted multiple times over the last few weeks and police believe Schneider is possibly the culprit in those instances. I want to live and be safe in my environment. I want to come home and feel safe. I don't want to be wondering if someone's going to spray paint my property just because they don't like something about me. Thomasine noticed political signs in her neighbor's yard were being tagged over and over. You would just see the sign blacked out again, or you would see the sign kind of not there anymore. So we just, I just assumed that someone was being rude. On Tuesday, we interviewed the homeowner whose signs were vandalized the last few weeks. But Thomasine, and unknown to her at the time, the homeowner's mother-in-law helped catch the alleged culprit Wednesday evening. So I was driving home, and as I was turning the corner, I saw the guy, Stephen, um, spray painting the sign. And first I kind of was like, what is that guy doing? She says she rolled down her window and yelled at him to stop. And he was like, I don't care. Oh, well. And then he started kind of walking off and there was another car sitting there kind of watching him. So that car started kind of trailing him and I trailed behind that car and just kind of seeing like, where is he going? Cause I'm like, he's obviously been the one that's been spray painting these people's signs every day. And he was just kind of trotting down the street. Like I don't really care. Then Thomasine says he ran up to her car and did this. I rolled my window up and then he kind of stood there and like said something and then he put it in. I said, don't do that. And then he sprayed my car anyway. Oh, he would have sprayed me in my face. Definitely. As she was on the phone with dispatch, she kept following the man who she says tried jumping fences into neighbors yards. He was set on trying to get away and I just told him like, you're not going to get away. I'm going to keep following you. After police got on scene, Tommy walked up to them. As soon as he saw me, he just immediately went like deny, deny, deny. Stephen Schneider was booked into the Ada County Jail on a misdemeanor charge of malicious injury to property and was found to have a misdemeanor warrant for battery. I think just as neighbors and as people of the community, we owe each other to watch out and look, have each other's back. If you see something, say something. Like, don't just turn your head because that gives those people that are doing the damages and doing the wrongs power. And I called Stephen Schneider listed at an address in that neighborhood. He did confirm to me it was him who was arrested, but says he did not spray paint the signs and he was quote walking around the block after supper and police just pulled up and the next thing he knew he was in jail. Schneider is scheduled to appear in court on January 4th. Brian. Uh, interesting. Well, it's also mm -hmm. a way that neighbors watch out for neighbors. Exactly. So that's always a good sign. Right. Thank you, Morgan.